Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? It's Western Star Gaming here, and today, guys, me and Lan, or Homework Cinema, hey. we are going to teach you guys how to make a car for GTA 4, like a police car. Because I make cars all the time, guys, so we're going to get started. So, guys, you're gonna, first thing you're going to need is Z Modeler 2, not Z Modeler 3. You're going to need 2. So, wait, once you have 2, you open it, you launch it. I'll minimize that folder. I'm going to close it. All right, and we'll wait for it to open. All right, so now once it opens, this is my layout. I have it. So yeah, what we're gonna do is first thing you need to do, guys, is you're gonna have to import all the textures for the car that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna go here. And if you're new at this, it's because every object you're gonna see in the game has the like modeling for it and then there's a texture which is basically the beauty behind it is what you see yeah so if without you the have textures, textures in it you're screwed yeah like you're basically just you're gonna see like a gray object instead of having all the little details the color um yeah and yeah that, that's one of the key roles here for, and you have to do this on multiple occasions but uh it's gonna it's pretty easy you just kind of it's like yeah. a it's like a drag and drag a good drag and drop situation there. Now we need to get the light bar too in there and all the other stuff. And we're making a NJSP or that stands for New Jersey State Police. Nope. Uh, what What's are we that? doing? No, 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 sorry, I, did, I hit, oh. did the wrong thing. Yeah, no, we're doing a New Jersey State Police um, Crown Victoria for Victoria. Um, and this will be released to the public as a lock model, and we'll get to the whole unlock lock situation towards the end of this tutorial. Yeah. yeah. RST. And I think we're making a whole we're making yeah. a whole pack of this, but we're only gonna show this one vehicle on this tutorial. Yeah. Just ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And when we get to the little boring parts where we don't really need to talk about what's going on, okay. that's why we have to keep this here. And yeah. I also do the texturing, so Yeah, he makes the textures, I make the models. And I give input. So we kind yeah. of co create these models and yes. mods and everything. And, I mean, so. we don't make, just to point out, I mean, like, people might come here for, like, some scratch and stuff like that. We make, we kind of just, like, we um, make the vehicle actually, we're gonna not from land? scratch. I gotta yeah. stop the recording first. I gotta go talk to someone on TeamSpeak. They just asked if they could speak to me. Alright, okay. Alright, guys, we'll be right back after I go deal with this. Guys, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, um, I don't know what we're talking about because it's been yeah. this long. Um, Alright, so we're importing the car now. Oh yeah, uh, we're not making stuff from scratch in this video, so if you're coming here for that, don't. Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna be. I don't know how to model a car fully yet. Right. I'm gonna add my bodyguard in there. All right, guys. So first thing I I always like to do when I do a car is I like to put the light bar on first, so I know what to do properly. So I'm gonna go to my light bar folder. I go to import. Now, guys, I create folder a folder with folders inside of it, and that's how I keep myself organized. So I go into my light bar folder. I'm gonna go down to the light bar that we're gonna use, and the light bar that we're using is the Wheel and Liberty 2. We use the high profile. Um, also, if you are looking for these mods or light bars and stuff, you can find them on LCPDFR, or you can find them on GTA Police Mods. Or GTA um, or can, Mod Center. Right, you can basically just Google the light bar you want. If you can't find it, go to the you know nearest one that looks like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, I gotta tell him how to move it real quick. Alright guys, so the way how I move cars, the, the parts, is that if I don't select them all and then just move it, because for me that doesn't work properly because it, uh, sometimes the Coronas get messed up on the lights. So, what I do is I use the X and Y. So I'm going to disable Y so I can move on the X axis so I can move it to be right in between the doors there, as you guys can see. So I'm going to take that off, go to my left, move it back. Now, I need to move a little bit to the back this way guys, I always mess up on these a little bit. So now we're right where I want it, 
switch down to the Y, get rid of the X, bring it down a little bit, take a look, bring it down just a little bit more, and there we go, light bar is now, the light bar is now on, nope, wait, nope, the light bar is still floating in the air a little bit, so bring it down a little bit more, and now the light bar is in the car. That looks a little bit cheap. <laughs> I, I want to point that out. <laughs> but I mean, I, I hope you guys get the point. You're just kind of there. We go. See? It so you so you put it at the right spot, like that, yeah. where it looks realistic. And sometimes, depending on the model, you might have to resize the object and everything. Oh yeah, I have to do like that. It fits the car and everything there. Yeah, I do that. I have to do that a lot. Oh, you know what I forgot to put in the lamp? What? Is the, the light to go around the you I forgot to put the textures in for that. The, back, the brick light. Oh, um, and I don't know, because I can't remember if we covered this or not, but once you download your part, you're going to extract it from whatever it's in, like yep. WinRAW or something, and then it's going to come out with a folder like this. You're going to put the textures into ZModeler before you start working on it, and then you can import the object, and yeah. or else you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. Oh, I got to get those. Oh, shoot, I just noticed I got to download those things to go in the Right, the plates at the back. Well, then we can show them where you download stuff. Yeah. We got the you can cut the parts out. Do you want me? Do you stuff want? Stuff. Yeah. Well, no. Won't be that. Oh, yeah, no, but like when it's not part of the video, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. disgusting stuff. We can cut I gotta out. get the grill lights too. Um, that's true. Oh, well, actually, I have the grill lights already. Uh, All right. So for people wondering, yeah. we are doing a New Jersey State Police one. So we go to websites, we go to pictures, we go to people images and all that stuff. We look at what's realistic and what's not on the model. Sometimes, like the NGSD, it's not uniform for the car, so it's not all the same sometimes. And we do what we like, we, like, we kind of just mold it into one car, because we don't have the resources to make it in cars in the game. So if there's a CVPI with a different light bar and this one, you might decide which one we want to use, or if they have real lights and one doesn't we might decide if we want to put real lights on it and in this case we do because we both enjoy extra lighting <laughs> yeah yeah we do and i gotta add downloads okay so we should show them how to work with downloads right nope. um, uh, I yeah, had this so open. We're... oh yeah perfect example so we go to it's called website.net it gives you state police and you so happen to do jersey because i'm jersey and you know the canadian is canadian <laughs> Um, I still yeah, kind of model like this though. Yeah, I mean, it gives you nice pictures of like, archives of just different photographers yeah. and all the all the stuff they do there. So like and most of the time, it's different angles as well. So yeah, we get to see the front, the side, um, the back on some of them. It lets us know, you know, what there's what. Like, see, look, there's the back of a Crown Vic. Right, and that has the. Like brake light edition and a light. Now you see, I wish we had edition. like an 08 Durango though. That would be right, great. Right, that's not in the modding community as a vehicle itself. I wonder Actually, if Actually, I think can... it is. I just can't find one. I don't it's think probably it's private. I want to see if there's a CSF. Oh, land? I'm Mark Tahoe. Hmm? I'm Mark Tahoe. Alright, but back to topic. Yeah, I'm probably gonna edit that. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, so we're gonna get started with I'm so debating about ice cream on our group chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're doing all the hard work here. Yeah, so we are now gonna so guys I'm now gonna put the uh lights in the back here by around the brake light. So what I like to do for this is I like to take off the rear window because it will not let me see with at with the window on since the car since it's not in the car yet. Now, I just gotta go remove those. I'm gonna go import. I'm gonna go find the car, the things I use. And I'm in MISC, not light bars. And where are they? Right here. So here are my brake light and things. They're all the way back there. I don't know why. But I'm gonna do this. Uh, turn off police. What's this one? That is the Liberty, and here is our brake light. And the people who don't know what the brake light is, it hugs around the brake light, 
basically just it's like two wigwags around the brake plate instead of having the brake plate become a strobe because that's kind of important because people need to know when you're stopping. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That's it's, how it's that's how uh, uh, LCDOJ's uh, unmarked uh, uh, Crown Vic is. It doesn't have this. It has like the lights in it. Can I mention something? What? Black Jesus helped out earlier. Oh yeah, he gave us a little bit of advice for something, so we're gonna do in this video too. I don't, I, I don't, I, I well, hold on, let me rephrase this. I never thought he would actually help us in that I know. way. At least he wasn't being a big bugs about it. Like, oh no, <laughs> no, he actually helped us. I asked him um, how he did his spotlight thing, um, or if you press your takedowns in ELS. Um, yeah, well, I gotta put a dummy there to make that spotlight turn on, you know. Yeah. I don't <laughs> that's your that's your thing. Show it to the audience. Yeah, if I can figure out how to do that again. All right, we're almost there. Wrapped the, that that looks pretty good there, don't you think? Plan. Uh, um, go back to it. Center on it. Yeah. Looks even enough to me. All right. So now we got the light bar in. The that thing in. Not the light bar. The, let me put the turn the back windshield back on. Oh, it's sticking through the windshield a little bit. Oh. Okay, I gotta bring it back a little bit. And back, back, back. Rear windshield on, police on. There we go. Now it's not through the windshield. That one looked good. Okay, so. What do we need to do next? Spotlight? Oh yeah, we can do spotlight for now. Ram bar? Yep. Dash light? I mean, not dash light. Drill light? Yep. Do we really want to do the dash light though? Like, let's just think about that real quick. Uh, mm, I feel like it would be too much. Yeah, okay, so we won't do it. Okay. So we'll do the black spotlight on. Oh, sweet, it's already in. Oh, it's almost in spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that one. It's almost in the spot. See, I don't model anymore. I used to like make cars and stuff, and then I got too frustrated at this one car, and I kind of just stopped. <laughs> oh, great! So how am I supposed to make that look like this? Push your back. You gotta show me one of his cars, cause I don't see how he does that. I'll get it. I'll send you it. All right. So now let's just get back to this uh, spotlight. All I gotta do is just move it back, move it back in. So the point we're trying to make with that spotlight is sometimes you just have to look at a real life picture to get it. Yeah. Now to find real there, life pictures. we just need to have it on because if I want, if we want to put that light in, we need to have it actually on to do it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't find any pictures of it. Huh. There we go. Now it's in the door. That's where we need it. I think that's fine. Yeah, now I just need to figure out how to put a light in there to work with the takedowns. Oh, we'll do that off screen, guys, because it'll just be easier for me. But basically, you just put the spotlight where it needs to be. Yeah. Alright, so now let's do the grill lights. So, I'm going to go find my grill lights, then port. So, my light bar folder, here are my grill lights. Whoa! Because, whoa, that is a big... <laughs> so, coming back to what I was talking about before with, um... Yeah. You know, resize things, that's kind of a time to resize it. Yeah, think? Select. So here's how you resize. Select it. Selected mode. Modify. Scale! Ah. Uh much better <laughs> yeah yeah uh no that's not better because look watch when i get it down to the same car height the, like look to so the cars there watch when i bring it down too oh oh yeah wait 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 wait, wait. let me zoom in more it's not gonna work no i just gotta do something else but, nah okay nope that's not gonna work for a dash light delete i'll look for one cut all right guys so we're back again. <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna take my. Uh, I'm gonna take the. That thing I'm gonna use for the so grill light. I don't have. That's not as bad as my mod. My downloads folder. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come back. We're gonna imp, we're gonna get the textures for it because it has different textures. It's called wrap surrounds off ram dirt raptor. Oh, this will work on the back too. This thing. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go import it. Oh, that oh, it spawns in small. Thank God. Right. Oh, Gary, I got the chip stuck in my throat. That hurts. <laughs> what? I'm chewing food, so I move my mic every time I'm chewing. I oh, got a chip stuck in my throat. It hurts like hell. Wash it down with water. This went nope. from a tutorial to I have a chip stuck in my throat. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> it, would boring, it would be a boring tutorial if <laughs> there wasn't comedy in it. Alright. Oh, great. I'm being poked by someone else. For LED, for uh, not LEDOJ, <laughs> LCDOJ. Damn it! Why do they have to poke me? Well, I'm in the middle of working on a tutorial right now. Leave a message at the beep. Beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> I'm gonna put it behind the grill, and I'm just gonna move no, it over. No, is it on top of the grill? Oh shit! It is. <laughs> You're right about that. Okay. Yeah. I definitely have to put your discretion since I'm swearing a lot. <laughs> Due to explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, okay, I see that. So, it needs to come in a little bit. Right, like maybe that much in. And I'm almost there. A little bit more. There we go, I got one out of two land. I, I gotta go get a drink of water so you finish that and I'll come Alright. So guys we got one on. We got one more to go. Everything changes. Let's do this. So we're gonna import the second one. It's in. Yeah. Not do that. So, since I know there's already one in, all I gotta do is literally do this: move, line it up with that one. There, right? Then, let's go to the front view, move down a little bit, and move it over to the side over here. And boom, there are our grill lights. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back, but I'll be rotating them, and I'll be—I'll do that later on. So you guys get basically how it works. So now we're gonna I'm install. The, all right. So I just showed them how to put the the, the grill lights on. I'm gonna do mm -hmm. use the same things on the back, but right now I'm not gonna show them how to do that. It's basically the same thing, except I just rotating them. Right. Now we're just gonna put the ram bar on. Which this ram bar I like because it will automatically go right to the spot it needs to be. So, miss L A S D ram bar. And boom. There's the ram bar. There's I the grill lights. Um, the grill lights need to be bigger. 
Well, I'll fix those later. Yeah, see, this is just a quick overview we will fix. It's a work in progress. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm also going to be playing the back rack in the console. So it's basically the same thing, except you just have to come to the interior view to do that. Alright, guys. So I guess we could actually maybe call it an end here, right? I mean, yeah, it is basically the same thing. It's just importing. Oh, um, wait. Have I need to show them how to put all the lights together. That's true. You start doing that. Yes. Yeah, so, I do it when they're not, so I have to turn off police. So... I'm going to save actually what we have first, so that way I can go back and redo this after. It's what the other stuff that we're making the dash lights bigger. Hey, right. um, real quick. Yep. Um, is there a way to make it so that not everything turns on when you press J? And that, um, like, we have the, we have the, like, the front row lights and the back, like, um, brake light activated when you press L. Yeah. Can you do that? That's the warning lights. I just got. Those are the warning lights. I just gotta put those under the warning light spot. Yeah, that would be the. No, 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 no. Wait. If you want them to be flashing, then yeah, no, you have no, to put those like, as secondary. To activate it and press like L when you activate it or something like that. Not just. Activate it. Okay. Like you want it to be flashing when you hit the uh, when it hit when you hit the button, right? Yeah. Like if I only wanted so those. So I'll, I'll, I'll put put those. As, I'll put those as secondary. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, so, <laughs> look at this, so okay, so let's get back to what I'm t showing them. So guys, we're gonna get this started. So, Raptor. So guys, all I do is that I believe all I remove all these extras, like the extra ones, up into, and I have to put the the extras from the air ones into after guys. But I just move them all into the light bar one. Nope. Oh yeah, of course. Three, yeah, extra three, an extra four. I just put them all up into the light bar so it makes my life easier when I do it. And then all I gotta do down here is just delete, 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 and delete. Now, other people do it differently. This is how I do it, guys. You can attach the ones to the other ones, but I don't do that. But you guys have full access of what you guys want to do with your cars, okay? Now we're gonna upload, put that in there, and four in there. And then I'm gonna delete them. And then I'm gonna do another one, another one. So I'll move one up here, and four here. And there we go. So now that those are all done, I'm going to turn off the rafters and the brake light. So that way only the ELS will show. And I'm going to turn off 5 and 6 on here. And we're going to start with extras 1. I'm going to remove the L, that, and the MISC. So, looking at it from the front view, so we see that. So we gotta do, we don't use select the mode, we do, I do select all, right click, you go to modify, and then attach, so then you attach this to that, that to that, and then you can do it the same way, that to that. Now that's all extra one, uh, extra one, L zero. So that's all extra one, extra two, you do the same thing. Select all. So guys, it's basically just the same thing over and over. But you see how I don't have selected mode turned on? That's because if you had selected mode turned on, it will not let you do this at all. Alright, so make sure it's off all the time. I never knew how to do this. Before, all I did was just edit it and put like a 1 or something at the end. And that actually worked. I was quite surprised. But this is the proper way on how you would set it up, guys, okay? I learned that. And often, it's gonna be a pop away. Yeah. You know, that's like, you know what I was actually doing, though? Uh, Tennessee, I was just putting them extra numbers. I didn't even know that you could attach them. <laughs> so I took more of my time just to attach the cards. 
Right on. Like just to do that and not even know about attaching. I'm gonna plug my portable back in. Oh, that might be helpful. You have to get a call. There we go. Yeah. So now that everything's in, Fuck. all you gotta do, guys, this is literally all you gotta do now, is just open up the police car, chassis, drag, and drop right below chassis. That's all you gotta do, and then you just go and delete the That's all you literally gotta do, guys. I'm gonna rename that spotlight. And then this is gonna be... No, that's not spotlight, that's... That is, sorry, that is... Brake light. There's the brake light. Uh, we got our spotlight here. Got Kathy. We'll name it Raptor One. Move that up. Nope, and I put it in something. Oops. And then Raptor 2 Raptor 2 And then I just gotta put the ram bar in And that that's basically it So now that's all done I just got to delete these And then you can actually see in the back here, you can see the light, the lights. You can see everything. And now, we just go here, export. We're going to name it police. And export. And, and there's an error, guys. Duplicates of R. Of misc R. So you will get an error. Oh, see? Okay, so underscore one. Don't do what Western does, guys. <laughs> no, that actually works. That works. Trust me. Export. Police. Export. Yes. Now there's an error again. Seriously? Technical difficulties? Oh, it's these. I gotta do this. Underscore one. Underscore one. Okay, well, you guys basically get it. Once you have not been in those, just do that. You just have to do that, and it will work. Alright, I think me and Lam may do some more of these if he wants to. Yeah. Well, okay, guys, we'll do more of these whenever we can. But, we just want to get you guys started. So, until next time. So, that's basically how you would get started with modeling. So, yeah. Until next time, I'm Western. I'm Cinema, aka Lam. And I'm aka Justin. And, yeah, so we'll see you all next time.